Welcome to this video demonstration, which is to accompany this KB, which is the ECS solution to the Apache Log4j remote code execution vulnerability issue. There are two CVEs that are resolved as part of this fix. The video there's four parts to this video. It covers checking and upgrading the XDoctor version, pre-checks for patch application, application of patch, and post-checks. Move into the CLI, you first verify the version of XDoctor you're running on the system. In this case, you have 78.2, uh, you need .79.0 or higher. So upload the XDoctor package you've downloaded, upload it to the first node in the VDC, which will be home slash admin. This directory. Once you've done that, upgrade the version of XDoctor. So here you can see the version of XDoctor is now successfully upgraded to .79. If you have more than one rack in the VDC, it needs to be done on the rack master node on each VDC as well. Again, verifying the version of XDoctor is .79. The next step we move to is the pre-checks. So we check our DTs on the system, like so. In this case, you can see we have zero unready DTs. So we now move to our second pre-check. So you run the SVC patch command with status. Wait for that to execute. So second pre-check has now successfully completed. You will see he has validated all nodes are online. This is important. If all nodes are not online, the patch will not be applied on the offline node. So if this is not done, please investigate first why this node is offline. Check for you know other service procedures that may be running on the system at this time. Here you will see the, this, the two CVEs that need to be applied, JAR file that's changed, are that will be changed and the services that will be restarted on a rolling base basis across all the nodes. So now we move to the patch install. We will be executing this procedure using screen. So you'll see the command I ran there, which is basically uh, patch install, it's the opening screen session. I call it patch install. You can call it what you want. And the second thing to do here is to unset timeout. This is, this is to make sure that there's no timeouts during the execu execution of the procedure. So once that's done, we are now ready to proceed with the actual patch install. Like so. So again, it does a few verification checks. Again, these are the patches, the jar file, the services, all the services will be restarted on each node on a rolling basis. The number of nodes in this system is four and the time between uh, the actual restart of the services is seven and a half minutes. So after the services are restarted, DTs are allowed to st stabilize for seven and a half minutes. So once you have received this prompt, press yes to continue. So the first thing it does is it distributes the, jar, the new jar file across the four nodes in this instance. So five, six, seven, and eight. Jar file is now distributed to all the nodes and we now begin the restart of the services with a seven and a half minute intro. As you can see, patching is now completed on all nodes and services have been restarted. So from here, we exit our screen session and we run the, the same checks we ran before the patch install. So like this. So you can see here, the unready DTs are now zero. You will see here, uh, so this is at 12.45 currently, you will see from previous timestamps, the 
you see here around 1241, 1242, there was unready DTs. That was because it was within the seven minute window and some of the DTs still hadn't stabilized, which as you can see here, we have three concurrent, three successive checks where we have unready DTs. So this check is good. And the final check we run is again, like we did originally, we check this, the patch status. So the same command just with status. So we wait for that to complete. This now tells you the patch has been installed for both CVEs. Um, you'll see here the output, no files to be installed, no services need to be restarted. So at this stage, we have successfully completed the procedure. Um, please refer to the KB for full details and for some of the uh, you know, uh, guidance around time and frequently asked questions. If there's any issues in terms of the patch not installing or issues with the pre or post checks, please open an SR with ECS support. Thank you for your time.